The history of baseball is full of hard hitters who scored a ton for their teams and carried them to victory. Yet when it comes to the other end of the batter's box, there have only been a handful of pitchers who etched their names in the history of the sport. Here are some of the fastest pitchers in the history of baseball. First up, Nolan Ryan with a top speed of 108.5 miles per hour. The name that pops out first among the fastest pitchers of all time is Nolan Ryan. Nicknamed the Ryan Express by his teammates and fans, Ryan had cannons for arms and used them to send his opponents packing. Although his fastest pitch at 108.5 miles per hour is a bit controversial, a vast majority of the baseball world believes that the Ryan Express is the king when it comes to throwing fast. Maybe we should ask the batters who faced him, huh? Ryan's fastest pitch was clocked at 101.5 miles per hour during a 1974 game against the Chicago White Sox. However, his supporters argue that it's 10 feet in front of home plate as against the 6.15 feet standard of today. Anyways, he had a long, decorated career spread over 27 years, during which he consistently maintained his pitching speed above the 100 miles mark. The feat is enough on its own to earn him the crown of the fastest pitcher in the history of baseball. If his fastballs weren't enough, he could also throw a devastating 12-6 curveball at an exceptional velocity for a breaking ball. Now that's a fastball anyone would lose their sleep over. With a lifetime record of 324 to 292 and more strikeouts than innings pitched, Ryan was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1999. Before we move on to our next pitcher, it's said that during his prime, opposing coaches preferred to hold batters in the dugout and take the out instead of having them step in the box against Nolan. Now that speaks volumes about his ability to throw fastballs. Next up, Bob Feller, with a top speed of 107.6 miles per hour. Bob Feller is a big name in baseball history, who played for the Cleveland Indians during 1936 to 56. He's claimed to have thrown the second fastest pitch in the history of baseball during a 1946 game at Griffith Stadium, clocking at 107.6 miles per hour. Although there's an air of uncertainty around this claim due to the primitive methods of measurement prevalent at the time, the majority of the baseball world regards him as the second fastest pitcher of all time. Nicknamed the Heater from Van Meter and Bullet Bob, he's a prodigy who skipped the minor leagues and made a debut straight in the major league at the age of 17. He's the first player in history to have won 24 games in a season before the age of 21. At his retirement in 1956, Bob had a record of three non-hitters and an astonishing 12 one-hitters. Baseball Hall of Fame member Ted Williams regarded Bob as the fastest and the best pitcher he'd ever seen in his career. Bob died in 2010 at the age of 92, but his legacy lives on and the world remembers Bullet Bob as a legendary pitcher in the history of the game. There's a big faction that claims that Bob would have pegged the crown of the fastest pitch in history if not for the three years of his prime wasted in World War II. And now, Aroldis Chapman, who clocked in a ball at 105.1 miles per hour. Aroldis Chapman is a household name in present day baseball and has fans who'd be willing to die and kill if anyone argued that he isn't the fastest pitcher ever. Rightfully so. While Ryan's and Bob's pitches are regarded as controversial, Chapman has the fastest recorded pitch on record in the history of major Major League Baseball. Call us what you will, but we won't get into an argument about who's faster between the three. Chapman pitched his fastball, clocked at 105.1 miles per hour on September 24th, 2010, against the San Diego Padres. And no sir, he just didn't have a lucky day. He matched his fastest pitch yet again in 2016 against Baltimore's J.J. Hardy. Chapman also has a 106 mile per hour controversial pitch to his name. On April 18th, 2010, 2011, Chapman corked out a cannonball, which was clocked at a whopping 106 miles per hour at the Great American Ballpark scoreboard. However, the box on Fox Sports Ohio's broadcast listed it at 105 miles per hour. Oh, and Pitch FX claimed the same pitch to be around 102 miles per hour. The difference between these speeds is a hot topic for discussion among baseball fans, and a majority seem to believe that Chapman did, in fact, pitch a ball at 106 miles per hour. In 
In some of the lesser known stats, Chapman pitched all 77 of the fastest clocked balls in the 2015 Major League. They don't call him a Cuban Missile for nothing. What's more interesting is that he still has a couple of years game in him, so fingers crossed. Our next pitcher and a guitar hero enthusiast, Joel Zumea, with a top speed of 104.8 miles per hour. Joel Zumea will always be known as a man who could pitch fastballs at speed second only to that with which his career flew by. Zumea pitched in the major league for the Detroit Tigers during the 2006 to 2010 period. He pitched the fastest pitch of his career, clocked at 104.8 miles per hour at Oakland McAfee Coliseum on October 10th, 2006, against the Oakland Athletics. Hall of Fame catcher Ivan Rodriguez went as far as saying that nobody during his career threw a ball harder than Zumea. Yet, despite his blazing fast speed, Zumea's career was short-lived. Throwing the ball at lightning speed was the only play Zumea could make. He could never develop an off-speed pitch or any other variation for that matter. A string of injuries further led to the culmination of his career as a baseball player. One of these injuries, an especially bizarre one, became the reason for Zumea sitting out the 2006 American League Championship Series. The story goes that he injured his wrist playing the video game Guitar Hero. Why, Zumea, why? Next up is Justin Verlander, with the fastest pitch of 103.2 miles per hour. Justin Verlander is yet another big name in the recent baseball scene. He plays for the Houston Astros in Major League Baseball and has the fastest pitch clocked at 103.2 miles per hour to his name. Justin is no doubt a talented pitcher, but his fastball has more to do with his hard work than his talent. During his amateur years, Justin trained at the Richmond Baseball Academy and could throw the ball at only 84 miles per hour. The speed saw a significant improvement, yet was plateaued around 86 miles per hour during his time at Goochland High School. Soon after, his speed increased to 87 miles per hour during his first year at the Old Dominion University, where he continued to play for three years. He also played in the Pan American Games in 2003 and helped the United States of America bag a silver medal in baseball. After a ton of training and hard work gradually improving each season, Verlander finally pitched a fastball against the Detroit Tigers in 2007 that clocked at a blazing 103.2 miles per hour. Justin has some major titles to his name, including the 2017 World Series Championship, 2011 American League Triple Crown, and 2006 American League Rookie of the Year. An eight-time Major League Baseball All-Star, Justin's career is nowhere near the end, and he's going fast and strong with the Houston Astros. Lastly, Bobby Parnell, who clocked in a blazing cannonball at 103 miles per hour. Bobby Parnell made a debut in Major League Baseball at 23 years of age with the New York Mets. Despite the fact that he struggled with his control and began pitching only during his freshman season at Charleston Southern, he worked his way up into the Major League. He pitched his record fastball in 2010 that clocked out at 103 miles per hour. But that wasn't the end of his struggle. He had to work a lot on his control before becoming the closer for the Mets in 2013. If anything, Bobby was a man that could adapt. Bobby's pitching style primarily constituted a four-seam fastball with strong tailing action, but he dropped the pitch in 2012 for a mid-80s knuckle curve. During this time, he also developed a two-seam fastball. His ability to develop the variations coupled with the possibility of a fastball pitch made him a force to be reckoned with. Sadly, though, he suffered injury after injury, most prominently in ulnar collateral ligament tear leading to Tommy John surgery. The pitcher ultimately retired from the major league in 2016. Bobby's career might not be as decorated as the others on this video, but one thing is for sure, he could cork out a blazing fastball, turning him into a nightmare for the guy in the box. He showed promise and had a number of variations up his sleeves. Undoubtedly, fans would have loved seeing him beat his personal best of 103 miles per hour. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these pitchers do you think has the best stats of all time? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.